I think it was probably the first day or so once we got to Fort Benning and in the OCS footprint, right? So I'm surrounded with a, a bunch of other direct commission candidates and no one knew what was going on. Everyone, for the most part, was new to the Army. And then we just got thrown into it, right? Standing in a line for the first time, learning how to do drill and ceremony. That's marching left, right, left, right. You know, just some of the basic fundamental stuff that every soldier has to learn. Once I got past the first day of being nervous and I started seeing actually people just being people in the Army, that's, that's when I started understanding and realizing, okay, I think I do have what it takes. Captain George Storms, Judge Advocate General Corps here at First Corps, OSJA, Joint Base Lewis McCord. There's a huge role that judge advocates play in the United States Army. In a word, we're lawyers. There are all types of legal questions that we need to solve or help commanders solve on a daily basis. Everything from military justice all the way to advising commanders on what kind of money they can use for, to do what types of activities and everything in between. When I decided I, I wanted to come into the Army, I'd already been practicing law for about five years. And in my previous life, our firm represented insurance companies. And it clicked. There has to be more to the practice of law for a higher purpose, for a higher goal. I think it was that point that I knew my why. And I think that's, that's something, if I can tell anyone, doing anything, not just military, not just being a lawyer. It's, it's in life, find your why. My why, for me, was serving a, a team and trying to get after a, a goal as a team for the greater good. I wanted to help service members and I wanted to you know, help leaders, help commanders, help those who, who are the trigger pressers, who are on the front lines, uh, actually keep themselves safe and, and help them execute and accomplish the mission. If you want to do it, you absolutely can do it. You can do anything you really want to. And I think the Army, in particular, it pulls the best out of you. You're part of the team, you're part of the family, and it helps you grow and become a more well-rounded individual. You will leave the Army, no matter what, understanding that you can accomplish any mission that you've set your mind to. I, I think, you know, we all doubt ourselves from time to time, and, and that's fine, that's natural, but the Army uh, at least helped me solidify who I was, what I wanted, and it taught me. I mean, I came in the Army when I was in my 30s, and I was still learning. It taught me how to be a good leader, and it taught me exactly what I was capable of. And I'm still learning every day, still learning. The Army is, is unique in that you can do a job, like you can be a lawyer, you can, you can be an engineer, you can be a doctor, you can be a mechanic, and you can be a leader and also jump out of airplanes. Or you can have a profession, have a set of skills, and also travel the world. It opens up so many different doors. And if, even if you don't stay in for an entire career, you know, just, just coming in and, and being an officer and, and leading other individuals and being led and, and experiencing the esprit de corps yourself, I think, is, is something that will change your life forever. But you have to decide to lead.